Hello folks, welcome to the channel, it's Jonathan Jose. Today we're going to show you, give you an idea how to replace the front shocks on an 98 Nissan Frontier. And this is for the two-wheel drive. And uh, for these shocks, we're going to be installing KYBs. And these shocks don't have a spring uh, integrated to them. So they're just shocks and so there's no coil over or anything like that on this structure. So the first thing we got to do is we got to lift our truck, set it on jack stands, take the two wheels off, and then that way we can get to the uh, shock. And with that said, let's get started. So here we have the passenger side exposed. We have already lifted our truck, put it on jack stands, and we took off the wheel. So now we got the uh, shock, which is right there. This is the shock. And there's a nut right there that we need to take off, and that's a 14 millimeter nut. And then on the bottom, right there, there's a bolt that comes from the back towards the front, and that's a 17 millimeter bolt right there. So we take off that bolt and that nut, and that way we can extract our shock. And there's no spring on this uh, shock, so it's gonna be an easy job. So all you have to do is just lift your truck, set it on jack stands, and then that, that, uh, that shock will come out really easy. What we recommend is that you add some WD-40 or some, or some lubricant, so that way the threads are not dry and you, you don't struggle as much taking off those bolts and nut. So for us to take off that bolt in the lower part of the shock to the suspension, we're using a 70 millimeter socket with our Milwaukee impact gun. You can use just anything that is a 70 millimeters, but we recommend impact gun and that makes the job easier. So for us, what it worked is that we compress the shock and then we pull it upwards because the lower base wouldn't come out to the, if you move it to the side. So we have to compress it and then slide it up to the top and uh, that way we could uh, get it out of the, where it's sitting at. So here we have the old shock and the new shock and now we compare it and it's almost the same, but it's not exactly because they, there's differences between KYB and what the brand was. On the truck so now that we know that it's the same length and then everything fits we put that new one on you put that washer you put that rubber piece into it and now you can slide this right into the frame and then once you slide it through you can put the other rubber piece a washer and the nut and for the bottom piece all it is is just a bolt that goes through Now that we have put the upper piece of the shock, we uh, line up the bottom, we get our bolt, we put some uh, lubricant, and then we can slide it in, and that way with the lubricant, it threads in easier. So now that we have tightened our bottom bolt, now we can tighten this 40 millimeter nut completely. If the shock is turning while you're trying to tighten it and then you want to make sure it's tight, well, you can grab it with an adjustable wrench right on the top right here while you turn the nut so that way you can tighten it completely. You hold the rod with the adjustable wrench and you can tighten that nut. So this is what you can do. You can get an adjustable wrench just to hold the rod so it don't turn while you tighten the nut into the thread so you can tighten the sh shock to the frame. Just like that. So on this shock, there was two brand new nuts that came in with it. So we put the bigger one in the, in the beginning and the second one is to keep the first one from spinning out. So that's just for safety. We put both in, so now we're done. 
So there it is, our brand new shock installed on this Frontier. You just want to make sure that uh, you want to have the right length the shock and everything is the same so it fits. And what you did to the passenger side, you do to the driver side. And well, folks, hopefully this video was useful and helpful. And for our friends who are planning on replacing shock on their truck, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, the, the tools that we use on this, it was a 70 millimeter socket for a bottom and the uh, 40 millimeter uh, wrench for a top nut and then adjustable wrench to keep that rod from spinning so that way we were able to tighten that rod or that, that shock in the upper piece of the structure. To replace shocks is pretty simple because the, there's no spring that you have to compress or take off or it's not part of the uh, suspension. So these shocks are pretty simple to replace. You just gotta make sure how to take off the top piece and the bottom piece and then just compress it yourself and then you can slide it out of your truck or your car and then you can slide the new one in. But that's when they don't have any spring integrated with the structure. So they're, they are pretty simple and easy to replace. For our friends who are watching our video, haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up, share it, and we'll see you soon with more videos here in El Canal, the channel Jose.